We're about to start the second semi. It's uh, John Russell against Chris Jolly. For anyone that don't know Chris, he plays out of Bendigo. Um, I don't know much about him, I just know a bit about him. Um, I plays down to Geelong, so someone told me. Hi, my name's Paul. Uh, I've got Paul here. Doing some commentating with with Steve. Uh, Chris Jolly seems to be a bit of a new kid on the block, but he's yeah, obviously he performed very well and knocked out some, yeah, he got, some um, very good players to get Steve to this in semi. The yeah. quarters. Played very well, I actually watched the match. Yeah, well. To be in jail, take yellows. He's on, he's got a ball. He's almost likely to go out here. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. He's, op he's opened the path for the black. Only thing is, <laughs> that's just my message <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's just trying to work out the best way to go about this. It's it's not simple out. They're all there, but it needs to be worked out, of course. Oh, that's um, a bit nasty mm. there. I don't know. I think he's still on his yellow. It's not where he wanted to be, but no. Yeah, JJ has been around for a while. He's been around forever, hasn't he? Yeah, actually, he has. <laughs> and um. He's the experienced player here. Yeah. Got a lot of experience. Played in England, in the world. That's probably just a little bit of nerve because you get to this stage and it's, you know, it's a long day and you know, a lot of matches. And it's not a reflection on anybody's ability sometimes, it's just how, how things go. You think yeah, so? it's, a, it's a training day. Um, we've been here since 10. Most of the two players have been playing since 10. Mm. Probably there's six matches already. So it takes a bit out of you. It's just who handles the concentration better, that's all. That's right. And of course, as well, when you do miss relatively easy shots, it does tend to um, feel your your opponent's confidence because you know he's thinking to himself, well, if he's missing an easy shot, well, you know, maybe I should have a a, a bit of a go here, and sometimes that um, that works. Actually, I, he's, I don't know if he's on that bottom red. If he's on that bottom red, he's pretty much out. Yeah, there's a little bit of work to do here. Yeah, if you put, you know, he's got a fair bit of work. If you put, he's got to get his. Uh, he might go into the yellow. Nice. Well, it's going to be really hard to land on the other reds now. Uh, uh, I don't think we'll be seeing him going out from this position. He actually made the um, final for the pool TV in okay. the, the one that was a one frame run frame pool TV knockout. Well, okay. He, he, he qualified through pockets. He actually beat me to get through. <laughs> oh, that's why you're staying quiet. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but unfortunately, that's a good shot. Um, keeps him in the game. Yeah, but he didn't show up for the grand final. Really? Yeah. I don't think he'll be disappearing if he may, if he wins this one. Do you? Yeah, no. <laughs> I think actually John's think probably in, is he, he is actually in a good position here. He He's is. probably just going to play this yellow to his that, jaw that's and right. bounce it back into yeah. in front of the red. He just needs to promote this ball, put the pressure back on the other opponent. Too bad. Mm, it's not what he played, but it's come out very well. Well, he can't really just 
tap that red there. And he's not, he doesn't have much to pot. He'd probably have to just take a long shot. If he nails that, there's a good chance of going out. Absolutely, yeah. I think we might see a conclusion to this game very quickly. Well, well he's not, he can't really run safe. His has got nearly everything covered. Actually, that's a pretty good shot. He's doubled it back and the way he landed. And he's got so the snap. He's got How the about that? Well. <laughs> what a shot. Brilliant. That's a very good shot. Now all of a sudden he's back into the game. Absolutely. See, sometimes it only takes one good shot. That's right. It's a game of mirrors. It's, you know, it's unbelievable. Sometimes you look at the game and you think, there's no way that, that you can turn the game around and then one shot. I do believe it's on or else he won't be playing it. There it is. All right. Too much? Yeah. No, no, he's pretty sweet. I don't, should, know if that actually, I don't know if that yellow actually yeah. goes past that red. It looks like it may do. Yeah, yeah. yeah the angle's pretty serious. I think there's a mm. lot of room there. If that's the case, well, he's out of here. Yeah. He just has to hold it for a corner and he's pretty much got the game won. Ooh. Still a good shot. Yes. Actually, he's, uh, he's got a line up through the center. Mm. He can take whichever one he wants. <laughs> just has to land on the bottom for that red. That's right. Well, I'm tipping he'll take the center one, come back for the bottom one. Or he might just come onto the red straight away. Oh. I don't think he really got into that ball. He's just might basically just put the ball and not really thought much about where the white's going to end up. That's now it's awkward. Yeah, he probably have to go long. He could always leave that red last, but he goes mm. out of the pocket. He just has to get on it. Then doesn't have to work for the black. No, no, that's out in the open anyway. Maybe you can put that the red you know, above the, um, the, the, the the red in the middle there. Maybe yeah, maybe yeah. take that into the top yeah, corner yeah. and just screw go back for yeah. the for the one on, along the rail. Yeah, the only thing is that if he comes back down for yeah, it. Sure. He, he has to come back out. Don't know if he's on yeah, actually he's on it, I can see there. Oh, he's on it by a mile. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even look like he's on from there. Yeah. yeah he's on the, the only thing is he's got to come out. So he can't really put bottom check. Probably have to go running side. Agree? Mm. It's still a tough shot. You could even take the one in the middle pocket and, and run the wire up and, and play the one into the playing. corner and, and screw back. See, that's always going to be the danger. Mm. Well, basically, you just roll this one into the corner and just that end up straight for the one in the middle. Because you can pinch a little bit either way and just screw back across the table for the yellow into the same corner pocket. Yeah, true. And you're just on the black automatically. It's just That's checking. what he's going to be looking at. Yeah, he's he's just checking at. if that yellow is, that next to the yellow is, goes under the red in front of the pocket. Screws back off this one, onto the other rail, yellow into the same pocket. The yeah, only thing is, is that the one that he's better to land short than to go long. That's right. He's even short, he gets the, the angle to come around and place the black down in the, the corner where the red is. He's going, oh, he's then long. That's still oh, okay, I think. Yeah. If we can get under the white just to just to screw off the yellow, it'll be a, a relatively straightforward black into the corner. I think he's got a big angle. Um, 
probably just has to run it through. Come just above the red. Yeah. And take the black into the other where the white is now. Actually play a stun. Yeah, yeah. They, these tables are running very, very quick, and you know, you, he's in danger of going off if he plays it. Oh, that's no, a he's played shot. it well. That's a great shot. Yeah. Is this off the off, off the, the side, off the side right? rail, off, off the, the red. red? Then you know, it suddenly becomes a. It may, may not look like you can pop the black, but it suddenly becomes a, a huge pocket because of the fact that the red's there. But still, still, you still got to make the shot. Yeah, you have to actually give these. They're not as easy as they look. You've got to give them some consideration. And really pinpoint where you're going to hit the hit the side rail. Played it very well. Shot. One near to John Russell. Yeah. Chris Jolly to break. One year JR. Jeez, that's a nice break. Oh, that red had a dip. Yeah, that's a very nice break, unfortunately. Sometimes if it's just not going your way, it's so difficult to get a ball to break, and then other times they're just flying everywhere. But it's obviously given John a, an opportunity yeah, to... Well, John can take either colour. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I'd say the reds, are, there's only the, like, the two reds close to each other are really a problem because, you know, these balls down the rail... I think uh, that red might around. be on the bottom red into the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's really doesn't matter which colour it takes. Mm. It's, there's no problem looking, there. So. Looking at the table layout, I think yellows are probably... would be my choice anyway looking at the table. I think I'd be going yellow. I think he's made the right choice. Yeah. Right. He's got to get rid of this ball in the corner so he can freeze up the other ball. When you play the ball in the corner, screw back a bit. Back, screw back a bit, play that through. I think you, you know, could play one or two shots here, Steve, yeah. because you could play the top, top um, ball? The, the rail Get shot. Oh, you okay. could play the rail shot and, and basically just play it onto the yellow. Um, yeah. Is it plant you could, probably, you, you could probably make that plant. Oh, okay. you know, it looks like he might be able to actually get past. Uh, I think he's, yellow, he's taking yeah. the safe option. He's going to run the other shot. yellow across. Yeah. The only thing is when he gets rid of the two on top, the other, on the other side, Harry's got to come back for the black. That's right. It's, uh, it's got the angle just to stun on to the uh, yellow. I don't even think you really need to move that yellow at this stage. You can no, even no, use an angle on that and, and bring the white across for the black yeah. anyway. You could use right. that as your key ball for the black if you so, if you wish. Oh, he's trying yeah, to knock yeah, it yeah, out. He's trying yeah. to knock it out. This is what happened. Yeah. Sometimes, and, you know, you try and, you know, you take these... You didn't really have to do that. Didn't, yeah. It was an unnecessary uh, shot. You didn't need to. But, you know, we all play the game differently. And there's no right and wrong way. Just sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That's right. It's just what you you're comfortable with. That's the time. right. You know. Yeah. Well, I think his only option is just to run this through, run the yellow center, That's and right. just leave it where it is. Get yeah. an angle just yeah. to go run through and get on the black. Which is what he's going to do. Oh, he doesn't want to land straight on the wall and the rail. No. Because he won't be able to make the black. That's right.
obviously checking out how he's going to approach these shots because uh, yeah, it's just, very um, important. Because if he doesn't get it, just oh, he's just so he's going to be uh, he's going to be in trouble. He's gone long. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange shot, really. It's like I think that's probably his best results, Dave. Is like you know, yeah. looking at the line of the table. How are you going to get back on the black from there? That's right. It's a very difficult shot. Yeah. Like Paul said before, everybody's got their own way. Yeah. It's um, a split moment decision, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, let's give Chris a chance to get back into the frame. Um, where the position of the black is right now, uh, he's, <laughs> he's well in the game. I think he's a, I don't know, it depends if you're a really technical player, you yeah. can almost play that red onto I think the black. That's what I'd be doing. Onto the red, because you've got that. the other pocket covered. Absolutely. Cause oh, the game will kill the black. Yeah. Because if you try to go out here and you don't get out, no. you probably lose the home. You don't see a lot of value in that shot because he can just double the yellow. That's right. And he makes his double when he's out. And he's out of there. Yeah, I would have been definitely playing the red onto the black and playing the black over onto the side rail. And then there is a lot, a lot of game left in this at the moment. Just one double and he's got the game. Well, yeah, I think it's um, Chris's first time in the major. Yeah, um, you sometimes. I you haven't know, seen you know. him around a lot. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm um, assuming he'll be a bit nervous. He's next to let it go. Oh, well. no. Yeah. The thing is with these, um, you know, new tables, the, the, the rubbers react differently. And what you normally used to play in. Uh, you know, in your local um, local table, it's, it's, they, they react differently and they actually go wide and straight and up and there's all sorts of things happen when you've got new rubbers and new cloths. And sometimes, you know, you see these guys miss doubles and, you know, it's not, it's not always as simple as what you think. And he's got the snooker there, so now he's well back in the game here. Oh. There's a few options. Jay has a few options. Yeah. So they get out of this game, yeah? which will probably yeah, he make play, make. He could, play the, he could play the red down, you know, onto yeah. the rail, you know, closest just to the in front where of the, the yellow is. Yeah. yeah, and in the pocket, but especially where the two reds in the middle of the table being, you know, there's probably no pocket oh. they go into. So that's a bad combination for for Chris. So. Well, Chris will have a fight because Jay, Jay yeah, is pretty Jay, good with uh, tactics. Uh, he did, yeah, well, he's he, going to make it work for it, if, even if he's going to lose. Playing a long time, and he yeah. you knows you know, every <laughs> every tactic going. So, yeah, it's a good shot. It's, you know, really, he's he's got a waste of shot. Whereas if he tries to get out of the snooker, even if he hits the ball, he could kill it, and you know it, that just makes it easier for the opponent and. He's got a waste of shot, so he's, he's back to square one there. Really. That's a good shot. Well, yeah, when you play JR, you know you got a fight on the hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other semi final. Semi final went a lot play. quicker than what this one was. Backspin a bit and see the game again. Yeah. But you know, this, this, this game is, you know, it's, uh, you've got to have some patience as well. You know, you can't you can't rush these these frames sometimes. You know, it's the, the strategy side of it sometimes that, you know, wins you these matches. It's not all about, you know, you know breaking and putting out. You know, it's, it's a very low percentage in that actually. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it not, is. it's not easy. Doesn't matter the best. Doesn't matter if the best player in the country. You That's just right. can't break and put out every single frame. No. Yeah. Once Very you miss, percentage. once you miss, you get penalised for it. Yeah. So you're playing at this level. Jay, Jay is playing this shot. I don't think he'll play it, but he's actually playing it because it's very really tough to get back onto the yellow. Yeah. I think he's just trying to just. So you, it's always it's going to be really tough to get back because the yellow is actually on the other side, yeah. with the pocket. So now he's just 
actually open up the game for Chris. That's what he's done, really. He's so it's just, I didn't think Jay would have taken that shot because he's so not, good at tactics. Yeah, there's not a lot of value in it. I don't know if it goes long. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I'd be really surprised if it does. It's going to be a mighty cut. I think, so <laughs> yeah, I think he's looking at it too. I don't know if his eyes are that good anymore. <laughs> It'd kill me if he is this. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, no, he's going to be... Oh, look at actually, this. He's on the black as well. <laughs> With a bit of a jaw, oh. he's fat on the black. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'll be telling him to take some cost lot of tickets out this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. very surprised if he's not on this black. Is it? Fortune favours the brave. That's right. <laughs> and then sometimes that's what you've got to do. You know? JR's got that, so JR's tune you up. JR's back to break. Yeah, no, they've done a good job. Okay, I've got Joe, Joe Brown here in the seat. Bubba can't put a ball off the break. He didn't put a ball off the break but, um, in his last eight either. Yeah? Correct. Yeah, okay. it's, um, party um, smashes. Actually, it's, well, balls are pretty ugly, as they say, but we'll see how it yeah, pans out. A lot of pool left in this frame. Ball's back. <laughs> well, I think this is going to be another long game. Yeah. The winner of this will be playing Michael Scary in the final. Victorian State rep, one time Australian rep. Yeah, but Michael Scary is a, a force to be reckoned with. And when the guy's playing well, he pulls out some extraordinary shots. So he's a very talented player. So it's going to be an excellent final. Well, Chris is going to have those two balls on the rail is going to trouble him. I think he's going to try and scoop into him. He was in the way. Actually, that was a good effort. Yeah, but he's got the back double on here, Steve. Yeah, but, but it's, he's going he into the red. He still had to get across, out of traffic. So, I mean, so you know, it's it, this is a shot where a little bit of luck comes a long way. You do need a bit of luck with this shot, definitely. Here we go, folks. Don't blink. He's got it. Oh, that was a good shot. I think yeah, he's got yeah. a bit unlucky. Well, he we can't really pop this. I think he's just have to sit it up. Actually, yeah. Actually, there's a good shot. You play this when your hands on? Oh, I've just like, yeah. Outside yellow, scooting yeah, to the... I've just played with loads of top right hand side and just banana the, the other ball. yellow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think he heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've got a puddle with me on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good shot. And that's the idea, you know, in this game, you, you, you have to keep applying the pressure to your opponent. That's so important. This game is like, you know, it's a game of strategy a lot of time, especially when you get to this stage of a match. You know, it's just like playing chess. You know, the more pieces you've got on the table, the more See, advantage you've got. That's why Jay has got so many grey hairs. He's playing too many chess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well... He's turning 50 soon. Yeah, that's right. I think they're celebrating at Ballarat. 
So if you want to celebrate JR's birthday, come to Ballarat. Actually, that's not a bad shot. He's got the he's yellow he's covered. Good. He's kept him off the yellow. Even if you see the yellow in the corner, there's not much you can do to come back for yeah. the other yellow. Yeah, JR certainly knows how to work back into a game. Oh, yeah. He'll grind you down. Here we go. He's got to go right underneath the yellow to be on the yellow. Actually, that's oh, a great, that's a great shot. shot. That's just a great shot. You know, I think John played a bit of a loose shot there and he's going to be paying the price for it. No problems at all. Straight black in the middle. Can't see him missing this. Yeah, well. Anyways, no problems. It was good out because so JS 2-1 up. Yeah, no, this is a good comp. So, um, if you want to play next year, just um, the guy's waking up the ball. His name is Remo. He, he, done, he does a lot for it. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, he, he promotes the sport and there's just not enough people around doing that. And it's just a great game. Great, great game. Like they say, you got to be in it to win it, eh? That's right. That's a great break. He's just a bit unlucky enough to get a ball in. No result. Yeah. Sometimes you know you can. It doesn't matter where you break from, or how hard you break, or you know. It, it, sometimes they're, they're going to go in or they're not. There's no secret to breaking in this game. I, I, I break from the same place day in day out, and sometimes I can just do nothing wrong, and then other times I, I just can't get a ball. Yeah, is like that, Steve. Steve, you, Steve, Steve had a nightmare in his quarters. He he, he broke four frames, didn't even get a ball. I know, just it just goes that way. It's really yeah. quite strange. Yellows are looking pretty good. The only thing he has to do is develop the black. Everything he has is on. Mm, well, he's got opportunities to uh, develop the black. Oh, that's... I thought it would have been laid on. Well, that's a bit tentative. Center? Yeah. Right before that. Get rid of that yellow that's going to cause him trouble right mm. now. Well, he can develop a black here. I think he would be um, No, He's got to be disappointed with that shot, Steve, because he's oh. just really sort of in no man's land now. He's that's right. Well, he can't really play this hard unless... Unless he comes up for the yellow nearest the black, and then, you know, plays that and, and tries... So he can't play that, so the red was giving him a bit yeah, of trouble. Right, yeah. Actually, he... Um, Actually got a result. There's not much on for Chris. No. <laughs> he's looking. <laughs> he's, he's looking and he's thinking, God. <laughs> well, he can't what play the ball in the rail. He can't play the ball next to the black. And he can't play the ball in the other rail. <laughs> and that's the only three balls he can see. I think he's saving here. He's black at the moment because he's got absolutely nothing. Well. I think we will just run this red in front of the yellow just to keep it by in time, stay in the frame. Yeah, well that wasn't the way he should have played it, but... Yeah, it's not, it's not going to give him any results because, he's, you know, all the yellows are on, you've just, you know, basically just got to get, find yourself some reasonable position here. There's no reason why you can't go out from this, this point. He's looking at this one in the middle, which, you know, if he, if he puts this, he can take the other one in the middle. He can actually screw off that and actually promote the black because he's, he, he, you know, hitting the black is going to open up the other yellows as well. But, um, uh, true. Well, he has to hold the white. He can't hit that. Yeah, let's yeah, play that's, that's, a, that's, that's perfect. A, that's a great shot. Yeah. Right, it depends how aggressive he wants to be, but yeah, to me, he's, he's got to he, get past like that it. front red to yeah. go into the black. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not a difficult yeah. shot. But he can't hit it hard because he doesn't want to push the black onto the side rail. No. Yeah. He opens that. It's the black. He's got like some options. 
you always need a result. But sometimes, you know, yeah. fortune favours the brave. And you've just at this, you know, this stage, you just got to take the ball on. You know, It'll it's not, quite sure. it it's not just, just a one frame. You know, you've got like, you know, a bit of a race on, and you can right. afford to open up a little bit. And I don't think he's going to do. It. He's going to land on the ball. He's got a lot of, a lot of balls to do out it. Yeah, but I probably would play the way you said it. Probably hit the top of it, move the yeah. bottom, move the red underneath the black. Yeah, that way you don't yeah. even touch the That's right. Black at yeah. all. And then you freeze, you freeze your yellow as well. That's right. Now he's like, you know, he's, he had a great opportunity to open the black then, yeah. and has refused it. I think he has to play the plan now. So, well, if he lands straight on that ball of the other yellow, yellow after this shot, he can just screw straight into the red. Yeah. Actually, he's got done it pretty well. I think he's. he's right. Oh, but it's just giving the other yellow. Has he? Got, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, he has he to. Has to. So well, he can't screw into the black game. now. Like, never, <laughs> never ceases to amaze me. squeeze in front. Oh, he's got the black out. <laughs> but hey, I bet he's probably thinking... Actually, he's like, still pretty safe. Um, I don't know. He, he, you know the, yeah, oh, Chris has still got a bit of work to do. He's got a bit do. of work to do because he's not left him on anything, really. Yeah. You know, he's, even, if he, even if he takes on the red nearest to the yellow now, he, 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 his only hope is to cover the pocket because if he pots, pots the ball he's going to be in um, oh. a bit of trouble unless he plays it deliberately pots it and comes mm. across the yeah. table and, and then plays on the red the near, near the black into yeah, the centre yeah. yeah. and then that's the only yeah. way you've got to go out because right. if he lends uh, straight on that if he's got the confidence yeah. uh, you know, in himself to be able to do it he's that. gone for a double yeah. I think I don't it, know about he's going to try squeeze this underneath the yellow actually huh. That's the danger with that yeah. type of shot, is that, you know, sometimes you play it that well. You know, if you were trying trying to do that, you know, not to pot it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no, he's, he likes to go for it, so... Well, he's well, got a you know, big chance here. Yeah. Like Paul said before, that red next to the yellow in the pocket, if he just lands on that and runs and sits straight on the red that's underneath the black, he just has to screw back an inch, less half That's an right. inch, and he's on the other ball I mean, in the, the centre. You know, there's there's a fair bit That's of room. Right. There's a fair bit of room for. Um, he's laying on it now. Know. He's got a good angle to just turn yeah, off they, and they, play yeah. centre. You don't need perfect position here. Well, there's a lot of like you know, alternatives. Oh, I think you played it really hard. But that, that's alright. The that's thing not is, though, Dave, he can he can stun that one now into the middle. And stun across onto the side rail and play the one into the same pocket, the other red. Well, just as Paul said it. Yep, that's what he's doing. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. No, he's just simple. Just play the play the shot just in the middle sure pocket. Just make sure he gets a bit of an angle to the top rail and run, back down. Run through for the black. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's played that just about as good as you can play it. Just a simple stun across. That's a great yeah, shot. That's, that's a about one. perfect. Well, he's got Can't his he's got his it. cheer squad here from Bendigo. <laughs> Everybody likes the newcomers. The underdog. Well, why wouldn't you? Oh, oh it no. just he missed no. it. I took it I did he didn't even take his time that long. And it's John's just, just gonna eat this up because it's the same, yeah, because you, know, you do all the, the hard is, yards and right. then you miss the cushion yeah. football, yeah. You know, he had um, he had John beat, you know, two or three times in this game. It's always disappointing when you do that. You, you just feel disappointed in yourself because yeah, you do all the work absolutely. and then you just Played a bad shot, or just a lazy shot, whatever you call it, you know. Yeah, that's right. You just get a bit complacent, you think, oh, just, this is easy. And 
once you start thinking that along them lines, that's when you start to miss. Do you know those people miss the easy shot and not the hard shot? I know, <laughs> Simpl- because it's, a, it's all about concentration, Steve. You know, the, you know, the it's just that the simple we shots. We tend not are, to you, pay you enough respect to, to the that's shots. That's right. You know, it can be a cruel game. Well, I think JR is going to punish him for missing that one. Right, well, if he doesn't, well. Simple this one, it's just a, easy. Gee, that's alright. It doesn't matter where he lands, on the cushion, yeah. you just, just have to roll this one roll in. Roll it in, and that's yeah. it. Three one JR. Yeah, well done, John. Alright, have a safe trip home. Yeah, I'm in Melbourne at the moment. I'm going back to Adelaide now, so. Yeah. But it was nice to come and with you and, and, you Steve, home. and I'll see you in the Nationals in Canberra mate yeah all the best yeah, actually we'll probably see you at Ballarat before that oh maybe yeah. <laughs> I'll see you. I've got any money left yeah, okay cheers <laughs> see ya <laughs>